today I'm gonna show you three super costumes that you can make at home. My first one is gonna be a superhero costume. Nothing beats a superhero cape. It's powerful, it's fun, and it's super easy to make. For this craft you'll need t-shirt, elastic, glue gun, two different colors of felt, a marker, a tissue roll, and scissors. Ready? Let's technovate! First, we're going to cut out a cape shape from our t-shirt. Now, draw a diagonal line from the collar going down. And now we're going to pick our scissors and cut through where you drew the line. Now our superhero cape is done. Now it's time to decorate your superhero costume with an awesome logo. You can make up your own logo or use an existing one. I'm gonna make Super Selma's power logo because I really love her costume. Using a black marker, we're gonna trace out something that looks like this. There we go. Now we're gonna cut it out using our scissors. There we have it, our logo is almost done. Now we're going to cut out a few more shapes for the inside of our power logo. Next, we're going to make our superhero arm cuff. First, we're gonna start by getting our tissue roll, cut it into half like I did. Then, decorate it as you please to match your superhero cape. Here's mine, and I made it look like Super Sema's Ubanini. Now I'm done cutting out my mask, and I also made two holes for fitting in my elastic. Now it's time to put on your costume. Now I'm ready to save the world. Watch out, here comes Super Natasha. Super Super Sama! Welcome to the universe of the mind. A place where anything and everything you imagine can come true. Oh, nice vision board, Sama. <laughs> okay. So I'm not really in space. We're all using our imaginations to make stories that are out of this world. Do you want to try it with us? Are you ready to join us? Twende, let's go! Humans are amazing in so many ways. And one thing that makes us unique is our imaginations. Super fact! Scientists don't know for sure if animals other than humans have imaginations. But they think there might be some animals that do. Maybe monkeys, <laughs> dolphins, and elephants. Yeah! I'm imagining a ninja Noah! A brave action hero who defeats dragons! <laughs> yeah! Noah came up with his ninja story when we first used the Imaginator. Noah couldn't think of a story, so I helped him visualize it using the Imaginator. Actually, the Imaginator wasn't real, but it helped Noah realize anyone can unlock their imagination. Everyone loved Noah's story, except Tabor, of course. He has no imagination. <laughs> Wow! What are you imagining, MB? Well, Summer, what if we lived in a world where humans could breathe underwater? Wow! We could play football with dolphins! That's so cool! 
The vision board really helped me visualize my idea and bring it to life in my imagination. Imagining what if is a great way to spark your imagination. What's your idea, Aziza? I'm not sure. I like volcanoes, but I also like rainbows. What if volcanoes spurted out rainbow slime? Whoa! There's rainbow slime everywhere! Playing the what if game is a great way to get our creative juices flowing. What are some other ways, I wonder? It's time for a super such. What other ways are there to inspire your creativity? Hmm, you could explore nature. Being surrounded by all the amazing things that grow and live outdoors can really inspire you. Being in nature can also restore our attention span and boost positive emotions. Another fun way to get your creative juices flowing is to roll down a hill or spin until you fall over. <laughs> It's not just fun, it's good for your brain. Spinning in circles gives you a good sense of body awareness and makes you more coordinated. When we spin, we activate the fluid cavities in the inner ear, which improves our balance, posture, even reading, and how we move around in spaces. I'm getting dizzy. Maybe you can try some of these things to inspire you and then make your own vision board. Want to know how? Yeah! Then let's Technovate! How to make a vision board. You'll need a large piece of construction paper or poster board. Then get lots of old magazines, pictures from the internet, pamphlets, anything with pictures in that you can use to inspire you. One. <laughs> when you found pictures which spark your imagination, stick them on your board with a glue stick. Stick that one there, Noah. Yeah! Oh, and let's stick this one here. Then you add your own drawings and scribbles and really bring it to life. Once you have your vision board, you can make up awesome stories to go along with it. The sky's the limit. Is it ready? Ready! Whoa! What if we could understand what animals are saying? <laughs> we would be able to understand Moyo. Does anyone have any snacks? <laughs> now that's using your imagination. <laughs> Practicing using your imagination can help you become a technovator or a scientist or an engineer. Why don't you try making a vision board and bring your amazing imagination to life? Stay connected with me on the Super Semi YouTube channel.